Um, hey guys. Yes, I haven't, like, done a traditional video in a long time. I haven't really worked on anything multimedia related, I guess. Um, like, alone. I've been streaming a little on my Twitch channel, which is Andy Master. 33, actually. Would you believe it? The 3 was taken. I mean, I I specifically put a 3 in, in the channel's original name because, like, um, because cause, and, and Master was taken. I don't even know why I put that name. I don't even know why I still have it. Why don't I just change it on... Why did I even make it like that on Twitch? Anyway, I haven't, like, played much of this game, this, um, Pokemon, like, pack called Pokemon Blue Kaizo. You can, you know, see right there. I've played it, like, a little bit, like, only up to, say, the second rival battle in... on Route 22, which is, like, not- I haven't even gone to the forest yet. All I know is that this is a stupid hard version of, like, Pokemon Blue, and I, I guess I'll just start while I'm talking. I want to point out that I haven't played Gen 1 in a very long time. I played a hack of Gen 2 called Pokemon Dark Energy, with, which, by the way, was really good, in my opinion. This really anything is my opinion. I'm talking about it here. Um, I'm gonna try to not abuse uh, fast forwarding because that's what happens to the music. But I'm gonna try to keep it okay as is. I don't know. Like if it gets really like bad, like I keep getting, like I keep falling asleep, or I'm still asleep for like five turns. Or something like that, because because the animations, even when you have the animations off, which I always usually do at this point, they're really not obnoxious. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be skipping that. You know, I just realized the X here kind of looks like a variable X, like this X, as opposed to this X, which lo which looks like a traditional X. It's fair, right? Like W X Y Z versus W X Y Z. And now that I look at it, this this X just looks so much weirder than this X. Why am I talking about X's right now? Let's... Just because I'm talking about X's, my name is now Variable. Oh, crap. Alright, fine, it's Variable. ED, I'm hitting the ED button. I, I just realized that was ED. I, it was such a long time ago, man. Oh, man. Um, Alright, Rival's name. Since I have played a slight bit of this, and yes, this is basically blind, I do know for a fact that, because I, I looked on the download page, um, the... You, you apparently cannot use revives or max revives outside of battle. Or, sorry, inside of battle. You can use it outside of battle, but... That's gonna be fun. I think, like, everything in, uh, inside, pretty much, Pallet Town is about the same. Yeah, I'm gonna need this potion for the first rival fight. I'm not, I don't even know if I really want to waste it, but... It's like a free level, basically, so... So right now, like, the the overworld, other, like, apparently, like, okay, the, the battles have changed, I obviously know that, but from what I've seen, the the overworld seems to change a little bit, too. There's not really much in Pallet Town. Just gonna take a nice view of the rock. So th this is actually the alternate universe where Team Magma won, and, uh, I'm just making shit up right now, let's just, let's just go. You know, I wouldn't have tried to go out if you actually just were here. If you know what I mean. You know, I don't know why you're so worried. Th those two 
Those, those, uh, that 2x2 two two square of grass right there, Pokemon cannot actually appear in that. And that, uh, that even applies to the, to the regular game. The, like, the not Kaizo version, I guess. Anyway, I called the rival Cheater for one particular reason. All these three Pokemon are the same as your starter. You, like, you know, the same thing. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander, which, by the way, I will be picking Charmander. Um, I don't know why I said, by the way, I'm just gonna d do it now. Oh my god. Because I was thinking of not picking Squirtle because I picked it the first time playing, like, on the, the first blind run I ever played. Of the, you know, like, this Pokemon game, so... Of any Pokemon game. Um... But I didn't want to pick, um... Bulbasaur... Because of... Well, it's weak to Psychic. It's not that Psychic is that common, but... It's, like, a pretty bad crippling weakness, especially in Gen 1. I don't know. Anyway... Reason why Rival is a cheater. Part A. He chose a Squirtle. No, he didn't. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, this Mew. Uh, I know it has... Okay, it has Pound, I know that. It has Thunder Wave. Let's hope it doesn't... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Good thing criticals don't really do anything in this fight. He also has a super potion, which I'm actually surprised he didn't use yet. He's not going to be able to use it at all, actually. That was a great fight. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, cheater. Get out of here. So I remember... During my original game, I named all my Pokemon really stupid crap, and, and I, I kind of feel bad for it. Not because for the Pokemon's sake, but, uh, you know, just, <laughs> just because it was kind of dumb. So I'm, if I name, if I get a Pokemon, I'm probably going to name it, because I've been in the sort of habit of naming Pokemon, like, it's sort of off and on. Um... So I might as well give it something, give it something an okay name. By the way, um, this grass right here, <laughs> from from what I know, is it's a hundred percent encounter rate. Um, you may have seen me enter a, like a bit of grass a second ago and not like get an encounter. I I heard somewhere, and I'm not sure if it's true or not, but considering this, I'm almost entirely sure it's true. Like, in fact, I'm... Like, I'm almost 100% sure at this point it's true that, um... If you enter a battle in Tall Grass... Oh, I just realized you didn't even level up from the rival fight. Wow, dude, that's kind of a dick move. Anyway, if you get into a wild encounter in Grass, um... And you walk less than three steps, no matter how much you turn, like, you know, try to turn your body around, you can't get into another wild encounter. Wow, wing attack already. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so yeah, you... Oh, wow, that, that was pretty quick. Yeah, so I'm gonna take three steps. And then on the third step... Um, that's when the next encounter happens, if it's 100% encounter rate. Basically, I guess the clause is, um, you can't get into a wild encounter, um, within three steps of your previous wild encounter. That's, that's about it. See, so one, two, and I can, if I can get the one frame turns. I got one, but, uh... Anyway, that's just showing my off my uh, sweet knowledge of Pokemons. But yeah, this will happen every single time. One, two, and I'm gonna get out of the tall grass. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, we made it to um, Viridian City. This Pokemon Center is shifted uh, to the 
right here. I don't really know why. I don't really know what that affects. It, it might be just to, in case you were feeling desperate and, and needed to run, like, from the rival fight, or... I guess even down here, um, if you were, say, poisoned, you would have to walk up around and then an extra, like, two steps. But that's just two steps. I don't really see the point of that. Unless there's some step counter that's gonna be crazy important later. I'm just gonna grab the potion here. I know for a fact that the potion is still here. I don't know why they decide to play like the special jingle sometimes in this game when you get a like a item like a potion. So I remember looking, this ledge right here. This by the way, this grass is not a hundred percent encounter rate. So you know, just gotta count your blessings. And holy shit, that 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 is that is actually really cool. Oh yeah, I haven't gone to Oak yet, have I? And I I better run. Anyway, this ledge right here, I think you have to go all the way around if you jump off that ledge. It's kind of weird. I don't. I mean, not. I guess I guess there's a point to it, but yeah, you know. So I assume that the maker of this hack didn't bother to fix stuff like uh, item limits. I mean, considering it's Kaizo, I'd expect them to just make things harder for the most part. Like, they wouldn't specifically make something that could be seen as easier. So, um, without spoiling things, are people looking forward to Sun and Moon? I, um... I was I was originally gonna wait, gonna break away from my tradition of getting the water starter in every game, and then I actually was like yeah so yeah I was gonna do that. I was gonna get Rowlet instead. I don't know why I'm talking. You know what, man? I guess Gen One just gives you some stuff to talk about when you're you know when you're bored. Granted, this game is still fun. It's just like. I think Gen 1, you're the most prone to getting bored. Anyway. And right now, there's nothing interesting is really happening. So... I was originally going to pick Rowlet. Because I thought it was really cute. I, I thought Lin was cute too, but I just thought that Rowlet was... Look, like, looked cooler, and I really liked Noctowl, so I figured, you know, Owl, Owl Pokemon, that, that's pretty cool. And then, um... I, I just saw like all the hate for, um, for what's his face. Um, wow, I actually, um, how did I forget the water starter's name? Wow, I, I feel like a biggest asshole right now. I was just saying how I was going to not pick the starter, and now I'm picking it, but then I forgot its name. Poplio, there. God damn. I just kind of focused, I guess. Um. So, yeah, I was going to pick it. I was going to pick Rowlet, and then I saw Poplio's final evolution in that, like, leak that I think people weren't sure was fake or not, and I thought it was looked really cool, um, so I figured, you know, hey, why not, like, you know, why not, why not just continue tradition and do it anyway? Although I want to point out, you can avoid all this grass first time around. Not on the way back, though, ironically. It's usually where you avoid the most grass, but here, you know, get into the most grass on the way back. Actually, no, you, you could. You could just walk... What, what am I saying? You can walk around here. So I've heard that levels can go higher than level, like level 100. I mean, I know for a fact that they can, but I think in this hack, some trainer levels go far past 100. So... I don't know this for sure, but 
Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know this for sure, but it's... It would... Yeah, damn it. it would seem to make sense. I could... I could reasonably assume that in a Kaizo hack. So far, are the hacks giving giving me enough standards, you know, so that it's still like it's it's not easy, but it's not bullshit so far. So whatever. You know, I've only played literally 15 minutes of this. This water here is just kind of awkward to me. The rival fight's still here. If I die here. Oh, too bad, it's against the Charmander. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, forget it. Because I... This isn't a... like a trainer battle, I think. I mean, it's... It's not like a... Or is it? I don't know, he did that, like... He did that exclamation point thing, so... I don't know. <laughs> Could have come back here and glitched out the game. Anyway, yeah, he gets an Eevee, level 9, by the way, so... Yeah, all that... All that training I did before, that... That wasn't an, an exaggerative, like, training thing, like, Oh, you know, I'm gonna train so hard for this battle. Granted, this battle isn't, like, the easiest in the original, but... Like... Jesus, Eevee. Alright, I'm gonna use, like... Uh, I was gonna say two potions, but then I'm thinking I might die anyway, so... And considering he already sand attacked me... And did it say he had two Pokemon? Alright, he's burned. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna waste two potions. I don't know about three, though. Only if I'm really close. Also, that's really... the burn's really good. Not just... not just for the... for the damage, but for the... For the lowered attack. Cause I'm not gonna hit it. Oh, okay, I actually hit it. That's pretty good. Oh shit. I know the moves are changed, but damn. Alright, so yeah, there is still Mew. Alright, so I'm just gonna put Headbutt over Scratch. I don't know how you're gonna use headbutt anyway. I mean, scratch over headbutt. Huh. No, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, because that's just. at this point. Oh my god! <laughs> Seriously, dude? Oh my god. Alright, just, just kill me. <laughs> Damn, dude. You really are a cheater, aren't you? You're freaking Eevee level 9 in Gen 1. I mean, granted, you you specifically, you could have gotten that. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I haven't even gone to the forest, so I would have I wouldn't I don't even know this. What what the hell is this? Pokémon gym is always close. You're not even in front of the I mean, the gym's over there, but you, you can't even get to the gym unless you surf, I think, unless there's a way around at the top. What the hell, man? This is great. So, is this... I'm just looking around if there's any, like, NPCs that do anything important. Good thing this old man moves. Yeah, so you, you do have to get to use Surf. Not that that's a problem by the 8th gym. And wow, dude. Oh my god, we're back to this. We're back to this. I think. The 100% encounter rates. What? What is this? Friggin' headset wire. Hope you can hear me properly. Oh, well, this could be fun. Yep, we're, we're back to 100%. Now <laughs> oh, they're really hammering in Cubone, huh? And that is my cue to go and heal. That is my cue bone to go and heal. Hey, it's pretty... <laughs> That's always fun. 
Okay, well, Sandshrew does, shouldn't know any moves, although, considering the movesets are changed, I wouldn't know. Uh, due to use a ground move on me, now I'm going to die. Alright, level 11, that's... that's alright. I'll stick with that right now. I... I have sort of this habit recently, I mean, within like the past like year or two, to just use single Pokemon, use like a single Pokemon throughout my entire journey, um, and just work with, just work with just it from there. But, I'm just sort of thinking, maybe, holy, oh, wow, that's, uh, that's one thing that I can appreciate. Holy crap. Ten, that's, like, ten cents. Like, is like, a poke dollar is, like, yen, so that's, like, a cent, really. Let's see if I can find that Squirtle. Well, that's Bulbasaur, so yeah, you can get all three starters in the first room, which is... That's actually a really good idea. But also, that just kind of completely, like, underplays your decision at the beginning of the game to pick either starter, because it's like, well, it doesn't matter, you can just get it on the first route anyway. At the... at a correct level, too. It's not like... At level, like, two, or even, like, three. I would want a level one starter so I can get that glitch, but no, you know, you can't get a... You're not gonna give me a level 100. Oh my god, can you... Th there was a Squirtle here. I wonder if ca if encounter rates actually change based on which starter you get. Oh, there we go. I like how the music's already near the loop here. Da -da 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 -da. No, 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 no. All right, let's try Ember. Okay, good. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. One try now. I also know that as soon as you see the ball shaking more than it normally does, that means it's the Pokemon's immediately caught, so if it shakes twice here, I'll know it's caught for sure. Um, let's see... There we go, caught. Basically, it's like, um, depending on the odds, it'll either shake once or twice normally, based on, like, either what you do to it or what's catch rate is. I know that starter catch rates are pretty low. Not that you're gonna catch starters in the wild anyway. Except for, like, an X and Y. I think War Total... I know you can catch War Total in the wild, but I don't know if there's any others. Anyway. So... So, yeah, basically it's, like, a certain percentage. Um, it only shakes once, and the second it shakes another time, you'll know immediately that you've got it. Um... Other times, it'll shake twice normally, and then the second it, it gets past the second shake, you'll know you got it. As for legendaries, it says the ball's missed, but as soon as you get, you see the legendary in the ball, then you know you got it. So that's... That's always good. Psyduck looks so silly in this generation. It looks so fat. Not that Psyduck's really skinny normally, but he looks so weird just, like, tilted like that. So I'm going to try to break out of my habit of only using one Pokemon and uh, focus on at least two. Like, at, like, literally at least two. Might as well get something else. That's not good. Let's try not skipping any levels at all. Alright, I'm going to speed up this 
crap because this is not interesting in the least. Also, lots of crits. And bite. That is good. Bite is good. It would probably be better for it. Oh shit. Oh my god, what? Okay, what's the friggin... What's, what's going on with Slash? I think I got created with both Karate Chop and Slash each and every time. Even going through the speed-ups, I, I saw that. Tell me I'm crazy. It's like... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, if, like, you specifically have a regular, like, have regular crit ratios, even with Slash and, and um, Karate Chop, like, or at least what they were originally. Regardless. Oh my god, sh this is fucking obnoxious. And then the computer gets it every single time. Like, literally the worst possible RNG. Alright, so Squirtle's good. Charmander is good. 11 and 11, that's fair. Um, what was the rival's Pokemon Eevee? Yeah. Alright, um, I think potions were the same price at the store, whatever, I'm going for it, I'm just going right in. Uh, hey there, cheater. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a 1% EV chance here, but I, I'm not really gonna bother looking. I definitely know that there is not a any percent chance, Mew chance, but that makes sense. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Here we go with crits. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I know speedrunners have this problem, but oh my god. All right, all right. All right. Can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? That's like the the one thing that's would be amazing right now. Like above all else, no matter what Mew uses, it would just be great to burn. Because even with soft boils, actually it wouldn't matter because you have infinite PP in this game. It's going to be annoying. Or the enemy has infinite PP, so it's like, screw off, man. Ugh. <sighs> Thank you! Oh my god, yes. Oh my fucking god. Why? <laughs> oh my god, why? Seriously, though. Alright, I'm going to go with... Give me a sec. Alright, special 17, special 17, but Squirtle has higher physical attack, so I'm going with Squirtle. This could be a mistake. See, that burn is really going to help me, especially with the, uh, the, the lower attack. Oh, man. You're gonna be obnoxious with that, aren't you? Uh, speaking of being obnoxious... Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, please no! Why does the AI have to be stupid? I mean, it's not bad, in theory, right now, but it's being an asshole. <laughs> oh my god, I actually kind of... Ugh. 
A bit of snot, man. That really came out of my nose. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you would be way you'd be like out of PP even with all PP maxes four times over at this point with soft boiled. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. With the burn, it didn't even no it didn't even matter. Like it Oh my god. Oh my god. How many crits did he even get? Holy hell. Alright, we're not doing that again, at least for a, a while. <laughs>